Hi, I'm Tamis. Do you have problems with slow loading on either the front or back end of your website? Shared hosting could be the cause. Your websites are competing for resources with hundreds or thousands of others. You can solve this problem by installing your website on your own virtual private server or VPS. This gives you your own computing resources all for your own websites. Never run a server before? No problem. There's now a few options available to make the whole process easier for everyone. One of these is Plesk. Plesk lets you install multiple sites per VPS while helping you to secure and manage your server. To get started, you need a VPS to install your server software on. Today, we're going to use Vulture servers, which give you very good bang for your buck. Head to the Vulture website, then enter your email address and a password to get started. Click the link down below to get a free $10 credit. This should cover you for your first month. You'll need to enter your credit card details to set up the account, but you will pay nothing unless you choose to buy extra credit after spending your first free $10. Now after signing up, click deploy instance to get started. There's a few options here and we're going to choose the cloud compute server. Select a server location closest to where most of your customers are. I'm in Hong Kong, so I'm going to choose Singapore. We then scroll down and under server type, we choose application. We scroll down again and we choose Plesk. Now, there's a free version, but for better security, you should choose at least the Web Pro account. You'll get a free trial for 30 days. Next, we select our server size. If your site is new or has less than a thousand visitors per day, just choose the $5 option to get started. But if you're planning to set up an e-commerce website or something more complex, choose the 10 or the $20 options. Today, we're just setting up a simple test site, so $5 easily covers our needs. With Nginx caching, even a small server can handle plenty of traffic. In additional features, make sure to set backups. These are going to be copies of your whole server. You also need local and remote backups of your sites, but this is something that I'm going to explain in a separate video. For best security, you should add an SSH key to your server. There are separate instructions for that, so for this demo, we'll proceed without one. Now we can see that our server's installing. Once the install is complete, we can click in and find out the username and password of our server. The server might not be ready yet, so let's copy the server IP address. We'll then go to Cloudflare and we'll set our domain name records to point to this server. First, we're going to add an A record. We enter the at symbol, which refers to the root domain. Then we add the IP address and we click save. Next, we're going to add the www record as a C name, which it redirects to the naked domain, your domain name. Now that's done, we can close the window. And as we see, the Plesk server password is the root password of our server. So let's copy the password before clicking onto the Plesk access URL. Since we haven't installed SSL encryption on the server yet, we'll get a warning. Now ignore that and just click through to the website. We now enter root as the username, then we paste the password that we copied from the last page. We enter our contact information and we generate a password. Click the eye to view the password, copy it and save it somewhere. Now we are initializing. Then we get some notifications and we can see that our web application firewall has installed. We can see all our server info on this page. Now we add our first domain. If it's for a customer, we can check this box and enter the customer info. This one is for me, so I'll add in my own username and generate a password, which I'll save somewhere. Then I can choose to secure the domain with Let's Encrypt. Here we get a warning for the domain IP address being wrong, but we know that we just set it correctly, so we can just ignore that. Next, we install WordPress. We click the WordPress link in the menu, click the install button on the WordPress page and choose our domain. Now we enter our website title. We can make our own username and password, or we can keep the default ones. It's best to have separate passwords for all of your sites. After installing the site, we can choose to install plugins. We can also choose the theme. Next, we click into our domain and we scroll down to the Apache and Nginx settings. We choose to serve static files directly by Nginx. And we enable Nginx caching. The server is still an Apache server being proxy cached by Nginx. If you want Nginx only, uncheck the proxy mode option if you're using WooCommerce, you should Google which settings to use here. Once you're done, click OK to save your settings. We then click across to our new WordPress install and we click from page to page and we can see that the site loads very fast. 
This will still be the case even after you add themes and content. Do be sure to use a nice light theme and to optimize all of your images. Congratulations, you're now in control of your own hosting. Try it out and let me know how you go. Do you like your new server or are you keen to stick with shared hosting? Do let me know. And if you like this video, go ahead and comment, share or send it. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, then please click my profile image at the top here and click connect. I welcome all new connections. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or answers or smart remarks, please leave them down below. Thanks. Bye.